Hello, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Carla Kush. And today we are doing, by popular demand, some more bedtime stories. This is kind of what I'm doing to make up for the fact that I can't really do ASMR right now because I don't have the microphones and the equipment, but I promise I will get it soon and then we can do more stuff with my voice. <laughs> um, but in the meantime, I'm going to read you some stories and hopefully it helps mellow you out and we'll have some fun. Um, make sure that you hit the like and subscribe, please, because... I can really use it. it helps me out a lot um, so if you're here just watching make an account really quick so that you can like and subscribe because it helps me out like I said so without further ado let's read some stories okay so first we're gonna read are you my mother which is a super duper cute little book um, by Dr. Seuss. I'm not really a fan of Dr. Seuss anymore after learning some things about him that are very unsavory. Um, but nonetheless, there are some classic books. Um, but just know that me reading this book does not mean that I support him in any way because I don't. Um, but I already have the book and it's a classic, so let's read it. Um, are you my mother? Which to start off, yes, I am your mother. <laughs> okay. A mother bird sat on her egg. The egg jumped. I must get something for my baby bird to eat, she said. So away she went. Inside the nest, the egg jumped. It jumped and jumped and jumped until out came a baby bird. Where is my mother, he said. He did not see her anywhere. I will go and look for her. You're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to stay where you are. Out of the nest he went, down, 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 plop. The baby bird could not fly, but he could walk. Now I will go and find my mother, he said. Are you my mother? The baby bird asked a kitten. The kitten just looked and looked. It did not say a thing. Are you my mother? The baby bird asked a hen. No, said the hen. Are you my mother? The baby bird asked a dog. I am not your mother, I am a dog. Are you my mother? The baby bird asked a cow. How could I be your mother, said the cow. I am a cow. <laughs> the baby bird stopped to think. The kitten and the hen were not his mother. The dog and the cow were not his mother. I have a mother, said the baby bird. I know I do. I will find her. I will. Just then the baby bird saw a big thing. You are my mother, he said. The big thing said, snort. Oh no. It's not a bird. Oh no, said the baby bird. You are not my mother. You are a scary snort. The snort lifted the baby bird up and up and up. Then something happened. The snort put the baby bird right back in the tree. The baby bird was home. Just then, the mother bird came back. I know who you are, said the baby bird. You are not a kitten or a hen or a dog. You are not a cow or a snort. You are a bird and you are my mother. That's so sweet. <laughs> I love it. He's home with his mommy. Yay. Let that be a lesson. Don't leave the nest. <laughs> okay, next one. This one is a cool one. Um, I read it to my daughter. I love it. Uh, it's Goodnight Seattle. We used to live in Seattle um, for a couple of years. And so it's good to remember. I also lived in Seattle on my own for several years as well before I became a mom. So if you're from Seattle or the Pacific Northwest, shout out to you. <laughs> Good morning, Puget Sound. Good morning, Seattle friends and families. Good morning, ferry and sailboats. Are we ready to share a wonderful day? 
Good morning, bikers and joggers on the Burke Gilman Trail. Greetings, Ballard Locks, letting boats go through the Lake Washington Ship Canal. So pretty. Good afternoon, gorillas at the Woodland Park Zoo. Good afternoon, Seattle Public Library. Isn't it fun to read? And that is a dope library. It has the craziest architecture. I love it. Good afternoon, Mount Rainier, reaching up toward the sky. Ahoy there, boaters. Ahoy there, Lake Union houseboats. It's nice to see you, Space Needle, towering above Seattle. <laughs> Hello, Tyrannosaurus Rex at the Pacific Science Center. Good evening, kids and kites at Gasworks Park. Good evening, colorful fish at the Seattle Aquarium. Good evening, airplanes at the Museum of Flight. Goodbye, monorail, traveling through the Museum of Pop Culture. <laughs> Good night, Pike Place Market. Oh, love Pike Place. Glitter bright, city lights, have a good night. Good night, Seattleites, sleep tight. Thank you for sharing a wonderful day. I miss Seattle, such a great place. All right, and the last one, planting a rainbow. I love this one because I love flowers and I love plants and I love gardening, so it hits home. Every year, my mom and I plant a rainbow. In the fall, we buy some bulbs and plant them in the ground. We order seeds from catalogs and wait all winter long for spring to warm the soil and sprout the bulbs. Then it's time to go to the garden center to select some seedlings. We sow the seeds and set out the plants in soil and watch the rainbow grow and grow and grow. We have some red flowers, tulips, carnations, and roses, and orange flowers, tulip, zinnia, tiger lily, and poppy, and some yellow blooms, daisy, marigold, and daffodils. We grow something green, ferns, and some blue flowers, morning glories, delphinium, hyacinth, and cornflowers. Hi hyacinth, 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 hyacinth. I worked in a floral shop and I don't remember hyacinth, but anyway, and some purple flowers too. Crocus, phlox, iris, violets, asters, and pansies. All summer long, we pick them and bring them home. And when summer is over, we know we can grow our rainbow again next year. Yay! <laughs> I could read more, but I don't want the video to be too long. Um, and I'll save more for next time. Um, so if you liked those stories, tell me what others you might want me to read. If you have like a childhood favorite, I would love to read it for you. Um, and yeah, let me know what other kind of content you wanna see. Let me know which book was your favorite down in the comments. And yeah, thanks for being here. Make sure to like and subscribe. Again, it helps me out a lot. And yeah, you're awesome. Have a great day or a great night and sweet dreams if you're going to bed. Love you.